Meet the leader of Maymad, the left-wing religious party that have joined with Labour. Rabbi Michael Melchior, tonight at the conference at the Kenes, Iran wasn't mentioned once. The global um, anti-Semitism wasn't mentioned once. The Hamas wasn't mentioned once. Why is that? For too long time, the political parties, I'm talking about all the political parties, have fooled the people here. They've said to them, we will bring you securities. It doesn't matter that education has deteriorated. We've become a third world country. It doesn't matter that the social gaps are the biggest in the world. It doesn't matter that, and so on and so forth, all the other issues. We'll bring you security, and therefore you have to vote for us. With all due respect to the other parties, there's no party who has so much security expertise as does the Labour Party have. But we don't have to go out and say we'll fight for security of state. Of course we will do that. Any government will do that, by the way. It's a part of our ideology. It's a part of who we are. Labour Party has always done it, has usually done it better than anyone else. And, we'll, and you could see also the people here tonight. I mean, generals like Ami Elon and Matan Vilnai and many of others who, who were not here tonight. Uh, those are representing more than any others, those who have spent their whole life for the security of the State of Israel. We don't have to prove that to anybody. It seems to many that the Arab-Israeli um, voice is, 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 on the, is on the brink of exploding or on the brink of something big. And, and what we see in Nazareth is maybe symptomatic of that. What's going on in, in Nazareth and, and how does an organization like yours, the Citizens Accord, how would that see that? Well, we work a lot in order to create a new dialogue, also a new religious dialogue. It's true. Everybody knows the religious motive is very deep. We, the, the conflict is not a religious conflict, but it has religious aspects. Everybody knows what to do in order to blow up the whole thing. We know that. Go to the holy places, start to shoot, or to, as, as we had in, in, in Hebron with, with uh, Baruch Goldstein. It's very easy to heat up things. The positive side is that in spite of what happened, and, and also what happened during the past year, where we had uh, crazy young Jews, terrorists, who went out and shot the Arabs uh, freely. And the leaders of the Arab community showed that with all their disgust for these actions, they knew how to control the rage. And what I think we have to do is together to build a new kind of confidence together, very well knowing that, you know, I'm saying this as a Zionist, a staunch Zionist, somebody who has moved to Israel because I believe in the future of the Jewish people and I believe in the future of Zionism. But I also believe that we have to create a different justice for the minorities here. It's a disgrace for us as a Jewish state the way we often uh, act towards our minorities. For InfoLive TV, this is an exclusive report from Maymad Avodar Conference in Jerusalem.